First things first, though, let's get that golf news then. So, starting them, um, let, let's start nice close to home then, shall we? The Hawaiian State Amateur Championship, of course. We've got to start there, haven't we? And oh, of course. It, of course. <laughs> it was won by Scotland's under 16s team member, Niall Shields Donald. Only won by seven shots, uh, helped by a hole in one in his first round. On a par four hole, I might add as well. So well done to him. 60, 70 start off with, and then shot, shot 74, 71, and 70. Uh, staying overseas, Spain, the RNA Student Tour Series. They had an event in Tarragona. Uh, both the men's and women's events there, both finishing dramatic playoffs. Owen Sullivan from Carton House, he beat Ben Brooks from Sandback. Um, Chipped in for an eagle on the 18 hole to win it. So what a way to win it there. Scores a 70, 69 and 70. Lorna McClymont from Milngavie Milne- uh, made it three wins in a row in the women's event. She beat Darcy Harry from Royal Porth Call on the first extra hole. She birded the 18th hole to make the playoff and then birded it again to win the playoff. So well done to her. <laughs> Nice. The series final that takes place on April the fourth, between April the fourth and April the sixth. That's at Dung um, Barney Links Castle Course and the Jubilee Course up in St Andrews. So, really fantastic to go up uh, to Scotland. Staying in Scotland, then Stephen Gallagher Foundation. We got a photo of, of a couple of players who played in this event. It was it was played at Swanston Templar Golf Club uh, up in Scotland. It was an adult junior uh, Texas Stamble. I mean, I mean, look at that squ- swing on the right hand side there. I mean, that's a that's better than my swing, that, Steve. Well, the, well, the, well hey, we're saying you size the one on the left, actually. Well, let me tell you about the one on the left, then. So, <laughs> Joseph O'Day, and he is two years old. So, they wow. start him young in Scotland. When we talk to Michael about an island, we'll find out whether they start two years old over in Ireland. But that's fantastic there. So, so really good. That was the first event of the year on the um, uh, Stephen Gallagher Foundation Tour. So, really good there. Now, Let's go to Wales then. Uh, the US Kids South Wales Tour, their first event of the year was at Swansea Bay. Uh, won't go through all the scores because there's lots of different age categories and and, and um, boys and girls. Uh, Alfie Skinner, Oliver Smith did very well. They won the uh, the boys, uh, the nine-hole competitions. Um, and Navai Clark and Alicia Kelly both won, won the girls nine-hole and 18-hole categories. Over 60 boys and girls played in that event, so it's so a really good there. Staying in Wales, uh, Jess Evans from Newport, uh, Newport Golf Club. Uh, she's become the girls' home internationals uh, Welsh captain for this year. And Llewellyn Matthews from Malay Castle is the boys' home internationals captain. Now, let's go with, back into England then. South of England Youth Championship. This took place at Rye Hill Golf Club. Uh, the Bernard Darwin Salva. Previous winners of this competition include Tyrrell Hatton. First and second were two players from Kent. Uh, the winner was Jack Shipton from Royal St George's. He shot 68 66 there he is uh 68 and 72 and second place uh for rochester common was jack lee with 65 74 68 and 72 so well done to them so uh, a cracking event there now sunnydale foursome this was mentioned in the last podcast when we did the news and um you know a little bit more about this and when i say you know a bit more about that you called out the people who were, go- who were going to do well in this competition and not only did they do well what did that what happened well, they, they, they only went and won it. Uh, I mean, of course, you could watch it live with uh, Live Golf Now. There's at Live Golf Now. We were there to broadcast the semi-finals and finals, and um, they almost caught us out actually because all week we'd have beautiful weather all week, and then the Friday comes along and gorgeous morning. Rain is scheduled though, so instead of teeing off at about nine thirty and letting me have a nice lay in, they thought, no, we're going to get things underway at eight a.m. Get things oh. underway to try and cover off the rain. We get out for the final and it chucks it down for the entire final. <laughs> Half an hour after, it's beautiful sunshine again. But there you go. But what an incredible final it was. And, and it, of course, if you haven't seen it, where have you been? Rachel Bully and Lottie Wode uh, won at a canter against two pros. Now, it is worth mentioning the girls had 10 shots on the two chaps. Um, and that's fair because they're two amateurs and that's how it works. Um, however, as we know, Rachel and Lottie, they're no amateurs. <laughs> they, are, they are far too good. And uh, and they won. So, yeah, congratulations to Rachel Gawley and Lottie Wode. And, and as we know, Steve, you know, we've seen for a long time the talents of these these two young ladies. There's big, big futures in the game for them too. So just to give you an idea of the score, they won six and five in the final. 128 yeah. pairs in that competition from start to finish. So fantastic the fact that they went through. And, Do you know what? They just made no mistakes as well, Steve. On the holes that they got shots, they won those holes. 
And then on the uh, shots at the two pros, they won their holes until it got to a point where just a little bit of a tipping point and the girls just held their own and managed to tie a couple of those holes. And then there was just no way back. There was just no way back. Yeah, so fantastic standard of golf. And uh, but might not be standard of the weather, but the yeah, standard of golf was great. So, so now, I, now I understand yeah. someone, a little birdie's told me you've got a bit of an exclusive. What's the, what's what's that? I've got a little bit of breaking news uh, to bring you, Steve. Yes, I have. Uh, I'm delighted to say, and it is junior related uh, as well. That uh, similar to last year, we have managed to strike a deal with England Golf, and we will be broadcasting live the English Under 18 Championships this year from Woodall Spa. That is June the 24th, 25th and 26th. You can watch it live uh, across our channels and, of course, with our media partners, Golf Monthly Magazine, Today's Golfer, National Club Golfer, Women in Golf Magazine, Golf Magic, just to name drop a few. So, yes, from uh, from June, I'm delighted to say the English Under-18 Championships will be broadcast live three days as well, not just the final day. And for anyone who's ever been to Woodall Spa, that's a fantastic golf course. The bunkers there are um, deep, shall we say. It's on the Hotchkin as well, so even better. Exactly. So, yeah, so so really good for competition that. Now, staying with just finishing off the news then, so Robert Rock Junior Golf Tour, they had their first UK competition of the year. That was at Formby Ladies Golf Club. Uh, over 100 juniors took place in that. Once again, I won't go through all the scores because there were so many different age categories there. But the interesting one, you'll like this, is the fact that the 59 players who played in the 18-hole gross category, 55 of those, bearing in mind you go right the way down to very youngsters here, broke 100 so so really good standard and, and hopefully those will go on and, and and get their handicaps down during the year lots of events have been taking place in recent weeks and will be taking place over the over the coming weeks and in particular a, a fair amount of schools regional qualifiers taking place so anyone who's been playing in some of those events uh, and has qualified for the national final well done keep your eye out there for progressjuniorgolf.com because we've got all the competitions on there the latest information and we are adding new events on a daily basis as that when we find out that these competitions are taking place 